Hello everyone, welcome to my course and in this video I will show you how to configure data sync in Azure. Now in this video we are going to create one source server and we are going to configure hub database as well as sync database and in the target server we are going to configure the member database. So for that let's go to the portal portal.azure.com so let me open to window after that go to the sql server create a new and let's create new resource group data sync give the server name so source server name Go with the East US, give the username and password. Review and create. Create button. So deployment is started. Go to the second window. Click the new server. Select the resource group data sync and give target server. target server db1 let's say target server db and okay so db1 <coughs> uh, i go with the same location give the username and password Review and create. Deployment is started. Let's wait. So go to the server folder again and refresh. So deployment is in progress. Let's wait. It will take two to three minutes. Now here you can see the source server and target server are created. So let me first configure the firewall. So go to the source server, firewall, add client IP. And here also you can select this option, allow Azure services and resources to access this server. And save. Similarly for the target server go to the select the target server go to the firewall add client ip click yes and save so now let's connect source server and target target server from ssms so now inside my source server right now i do not have any database let's connect target server So inside my target server also I do not have any database. So now if you go here, so we have just created the source server and target server. Now we are going to create one database and one sync DB in a source server. Also we are going to create blank database in a target server. So go to the source server again. And here, click the create database. Give the database name DB1. Change the configuration. Go with the basic. And go to the additional setting. Sample. Review and create. So deployment is started. So now deployment is completed, go to SSMS and refresh the database folder. Here you can see DB1 created. Let's 
let's check the schema so here you can see the adventure work database schema are there now go to the target server and here we are going to create blank database so select the database folder new query and type the command create database target db1 so command execute successfully let's refresh the database folder now here you can see inside the target database we do not have any schema okay now using the data sync we are going to sync the data from db1 to target db1 now right now db1 is our hub database and target db1 is our member database so let's configure data sync so go to portal and inside the portal go to the source server now data sync is a database level configuration so go to the sql server databases select the database so inside the data management there is a menu called sync to other databases click here and click the new sync group here we are going to configure sync db so either you can configure in a existing database server or new database so give the name sync db and here you have to select the database here i'm i'm not go with the existing database option create new database and configure database setting and give the name sync db my resource group is same select the server so i go with the source server pricing tier i go with the basic and click ok after that you have to configure the sync option so automatic sync on sync frequency so let's let's give 10 second it means that my hub database every 10 second my hub database will synchronize with member database so i go with the 10 second so now in the conflict i have two option hub win or member win in case of any conflict occur this configuration is similar to the replication so i go with the hub win and click ok so deployment is started let's wait so now go to the sql server management studio and refresh the database folder now here you can see one more database created syncdb and inside the syncdb we have metadata information so there are certain tables for data sync as well as there are certain procedures for data sync now let's configure the tables so for that go to the portal select our sync group and select the databases so go to the databases and here we have to select the member database now my member database is target database now target db is blank right now so let's go to the member database click add azure database you can also add the on premises database so go to the add azure sql database give the name select the server select the database sync direction i go with the bidirectional give the username and password and click ok so now here you can see db1 is my hub database and target db is my member database click ok after that click on a table and let's configure the table so select the hub database and refresh schema 
so let's close it and again refresh the log so still the, there is an error for database failed again click the databases click the hub database and give the username and password click ok click ok again go to the tables select the hub database and refresh schema I think there is an error so refresh log ok so now schema information obtained successfully so go to the table go to the hub database now all the schema are available for data sync now here you can see the table without primary key are not supported so it's similar to the replication you require the primary key in the table then and then you can sync your databases now here I go with the cells LT product table okay so now this table have a 17 columns so let's go with some uh, let's go with less number of column so let's go with build version click save so now processing is started go to the SQL Server Management Studio and refresh this database target database now here you can see build version table are there so now let me create two separate window so you can understand better I am going to insert data in target DB. And I am going to insert data in this table. Okay, what is error? Okay, the first column is identity column. So let's remove it and insert again now in here i have two records and here i have one record so let's wait for 10 seconds so you can see now the my member database also a new record okay now let's insert data in a member database So now in member database I have three record and target DB I have two record. Let's wait for 10 seconds. See here. Now the ID 3 is reflected in a target DB. Here we have selected bidirectional. That's why both databases are synced. Now let's create a conflict. So here I am going to select 11, I am going to insert a data and here I am going to select 12 and I am going to, ins I'm going to insert the data. Now see here, I both have 4 number. Now let's wait for 10 seconds and here hub win because we have configured like that. So see here, here 4 and 12, let's refresh. 4 and 11 so now whatever the data we have inserted in the member DB we lost it because we have selected in case of any conflict hub win now go to the portal now here refresh the log here you can see all the logs data also if you want to add a table again go to the table and add it similarly if you want to remove you can remove it also you can manually sync using this sync button so sync db trigger is fired let's refresh a log okay 
see now here you can see sync completed successfully zero changes is applied okay now if i want to change the configuration then go to the property and here you can change it so automatic sync is on but i want 60 second for syncing then you can change it after that in the sync db you can use this sync db if you want any information regarding this data sync so for example and execute so here you can see my source server is this target server is this databases and you get all the details you require also you can use these predefined tables to populate the data so now i hope you will get clear idea about the data sync please practice if you have any doubt then send me email see you in the next video Thank you.